having a disability before quarantine um, has made me a better self-advocate across the board, but in quarantine, I've had to develop those skills even more so um, because people are um, less able to be empathetic when they can't see you in person, even if they aren't meaning to be malicious. So um, I have had to get over my, um, my ego um, that might get hurt when I have to ask for help because you cannot survive something like this without leaning on other people. So I haven't been able to go to the grocery store because it's a pretty high risk situation. So I've had to be able to lean on other people and accept the help that's being offered to me. Um, and like with school, I have to be able to like swallow my pride and swallow um, my anxiety about uh, what I think other people might think of me and address like teachers and administrators directly and be like any this accommodation because I have this diagnosis and this letter from my doctor and not everybody has a diagnosis but um, most people are still willing to help you if you are straightforward with your needs and that can be really difficult but um, learning to advocate for yourself and rallying people around you to help with that uh, help makes your life improve exponentially.